How do you feel here in Lithuania? Isn't it too cold here? Isn't it uh, too new? <laughs> well, too cold still not, but uh, I heard stories, so for sure it's going, it's going to be. So I'm, I'm mentally prepared for, for that, but uh, so far pretty much I feel good. People accept me here, especially my teammates, with, because with them I spend uh, most of my time, but uh, so far everything was perfectly. When did you actually realize that basketball is like your way? Well, uh, I started playing basketball when I was seven. And uh, for where I'm from, uh, from my city, it, in Serbia, it's super famous for basketball. Like a lot of uh, famous uh, Serbian players, coaches are from there. So it was kind of natural that I start playing. But when I realized for real I want to do this uh, and like be a professional basketball player was when, when I was 13. It's when I signed for the Partizan young category. So I moved from my city to Belgrade and like kind of since that moment I knew that this is the job that I want to do for the rest like of, of, of my, let's say, I cannot say life, but still I can, I can play. Like yes. Everybody listen to me. And uh, talking about Lithuania, what you've heard about Lithuanian basketball before coming here? Like names, maybe maybe you knew some players from I Lithuania? mean, I, I, I know a lot about, I, I, I love basketball, I follow basketball, so I know many historically uh, basketball players. Also, I, I, uh, I, I know uh, Karnišovas, he used to be GM of Nuggets, I'm drafted by then the Nuggets, so I met him already. Uh, I, heard, I know a lot about Lithuanian basketball, I think every, every fan of the basketball should respect Lithuanian basketball because they, they did a lot. You guys did a lot for the basketball. You gave a lot of great players, so I know a lot. Okay, and your first uh, club ever was Sevilla, right? In Spain? My first professional club, yeah, yeah it was so, uh, Sevilla. Why did you decide to, to start a foreign player career so early in your life? Uh, in the first place, uh, at that moment, uh, for Seville, Seville uh, the club uh, signed uh, coach Aito Garcia Reneses as a, as a head coach. And uh, people who follow basketball know a lot about that, that coach, that he's, uh, let's say, if not best, one of the best coaches, especially for the young players in the Europe. And uh, they had planned back then to start uh, like uh, team with uh, new and young players. And when I signed there, uh, my teammates were Tomasz Satoranski, who is in NBA right now, Christos Porzingis, you probably everybody heard about him, Guillermo Gomez, who is NBA of, also, and many more uh, uh, Spanish guys who are on high level in Spanish league. So that was my my reason why I went there because I saw that was a good project, and I think from this point of view, I didn't make any mistake. I did, I made good choice. So yeah, that was my my main goal. Nicola, uh, what's the best advice that you've ever heard talking about basketball? Always to be ready. That, 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 that was actually my first advice from, uh, from coach Aito when I was there. Because uh, when I came there, you know how young, all, all young players, they want, we want to play from immediately. Like we think we deserve. But no, like you have to, to wait your chance. And when that chance comes, you have to be ready. So it was kind of that, uh, I always have that in my mind. So playing or not, bad or good, like just practice, work hard and when your chance comes to, to you. So okay. that was always in my head. And to sum up, what would be your message to all Lithuanian fans first of all and Lithuanian fans as well? Well, my message is that uh, first I'm super happy, like I said, uh, I'm here and uh, I hope everybody will enjoy. I hope I can bring uh, some some happiness to, 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 to our fans and I hope people uh, who watch the Lithuanian League also will enjoy my game and game of my team.